Just finished up my grocery shopping at this pick and save behind me. Today is April 30th, the last day of April 2023. The month just flew by. Because I got it off to a late start, I hit this grocery store. There's another one that I go to on the other side of town, but this is located right by the Target that we always hit up. So we're gonna hit up Target next. And this is the general like shopping area over behind me here you see a TJ Maxx there's a Hobby Lobby and way behind me is a Five Below an Old Navy and a Ross big shopping center here and there is a pet store we have a pet co over here just shopping malls and some restaurants in this side of town Target's electronics back where the games are nothing really new over here but I was just watching a video from Jester Tester if the buttons are red, white, and blue, it's the newer, so so the stick's gonna be a little bit better. And that's the way to tell that this is a newer model. He did a great review on this. And these two, uh, both of them here could get linked. Similar to that Fast and Furious and possible Time Crisis, which we'll get into that in a little bit. There, there's, there's a lot of new development on Fast and Furious right now. And a lot of people might be backing out of that and we'll stop at Best Buy in a little bit and just just talk arcade one up but I just wanted to point this out that these are the new newer of the of the if, if it's red white and blue I guess the colors were flipped and that was like the original but the controls are better on this the newer style their PlayStation 5 area again and I don't know if I've ever like held a PlayStation 5 controller they do have some PlayStation 5s here, or, or do they? Well, actually, they were right here a week ago. Somebody must have bought it. I'm not seeing any more than just the demo model here. There's nothing on this side, and yeah, I guess uh, I guess those are sold out already. It was cool seeing them in store. Here's their Switch area. They have a couple of demo units here. And then along this side, some more. There's Mario up there. Some more Switches, along with the games, the Nintendo stuff over here. Well, look at this Mario controller. And just around the corner from that other Nintendo, there's Mario. There's the back side of Mario here to come back here. There's obviously no shortages on the Switch, but the PlayStation 5. It was cool to see that in store, I want to say a week ago. But you can just see right there, nothing left as of right now until they get more, more in, I guess. There is an Xbox mini fridge here, and I've been watching this for, I mean, maybe close to a year. I mean, it's still $99.99. I mean, it's not big. You can just see, like, in comparison to my hand here, you can hold, let me look at the scale here. You can hold a couple of, there we go, a couple of cans. This would look cool in the gym. Maybe as you build up like your target circle points or something like this, this could be something in the horizon, but pretty cool to see. These remind me of those Secret War figures from like 1984, 85 timeframe. You know, when, when the Super Friends were out, $24.99. We have Spider-Man. Little bio of him on here. Wolverine, the 90s Wolverine. So these must have just came out because I didn't see this. And it's a Kenner. Very interesting. I don't think Kenner made the original Secret Wars figures. They made the Super Friends. Luke Cage, Power Man. If anyone's ever caught any of those Netflix series. And they do have Spider Woman. So these are different than the ones we saw like in the last two years. Doctor okay. Doom, one of the best villains ever. Check out this Ghost Rider. <laughs> this one's for the win here. These are good. I gotta admit. 
I've, I've been drawn more to like the Transformers saying like these are like the best action figures right now. These Marvel, along with that Michael Keaton Batman, these are good. You got another Ghost Rider, you got another Spider Woman. That's something different back there, but $24.99. Looks like Target got more of the Flash movie Batman Flash figures in. They did have a couple of these a couple of weeks ago when I was here last week. They were sold out. Now they're back in stock. There are a couple more here. Some flash armor, a flash figure, this one. Exclusively only at Target. Look at the, so in comparison, you got the Batwing here. Look at this one. Stack these on top of each other. Looks like $39.99. This one's $24.99, not a bad price. It does come with the Michael Keaton Batman. An Aflac Bat Cycle. Yeah, definitely the, the Ben Aflac Batman. And speaking of Ben Affleck Batman, we do have this one, a little smaller scale. I'm trying to find the pricing on that. You know, this one's gonna obviously be a little bit more than this, but we do have the Ben Affleck figure, the Flash, with that bat cycle. And on the back side, nice shot from the movie here. A lot of good stuff at Target. We got the Marvel stuff over here. You got all the Batman Flash, some new G.I. Joes it looks like. And the Transformers is kind of picked over. But this, the Target exclusives right here. Shot at all the backsides of those boxes. This is good stuff. I had no idea this was gonna be here in the corner. There are, for $8.99, there are some more Flash Batman figures. Close up of one. Michael Keaton and on the back side you can see a couple of different characters here we have Supergirl Michael Keaton Batman you can kind of see his eyes there it's interesting the flash and then that dark flash so it's like they uh, gave away the villain you can always tell it with the toy line you know you get some spoilers here when you're looking at some of these toys on what to expect i don't see any other figures other than the batman well i take that back i do have that dark flash right here to look at that dark flash figure and so another spoiler is one of the flashes did have that michael you can see here the michael keaton batman suit so you kind of see the ears on top here so they've confirmed that they're giving that image away so from the michael keaton batman world this is the flash and then you see the the actual flash so the toys have confirmed what we've what we've been seeing also there's an impulse here barry allen's grandson an impulse bart allen is actually the fastest flash of all of them. Along with Arcade 1UP and Best Buy, Target's right on top of the Fast and Furious also. Just want to point these out with Fast 10 coming out. And in a week or so, or a little under a week, we will see those deluxe Fast and Furious cabs, which I, we will talk about at Best Buy. I just came across these. I just wanted to show the Fast and Furious. And just around that aisle from the DC stuff and the Marvel stuff was over there. This is it. This is all that's left of those Ninja Turtles. Last week we picked up a couple. There was Shredder left. There was Splinter, Bebop, and Rocksteady. Nothing. All picked over, which I figured would happen. Check out this Jurassic Park. Never seen this one. Totally gone. Masters of the Universe. Got a little area here. We have four or five figures right here. And these are the ones like I'm more familiar with from like that 1983 toy line. These are newer. I'm not saying they're not as good, they're just, I don't, you know, I mean, I recognize him. I had Man of E faces, but 
they're 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 just a newer newer toy line, newer newer style. This reminds me of the original. I think this is a great one. These are starting to get picked over too. The win at Target is the Flash Batman movie figures and those Marvels. We picked this up yesterday. Today's Sunday. I haven't opened this up yet. It's our Sindin light gun. And it looks like it's shipped from the United Kingdom. So a, a week. It took a week to get that United Kingdom to Wisconsin. Not bad. I don't feel I, pay, I paid too much for shipping. Like it wasn't like extremely ridiculous, I guess. But here it is. It's sending. Ooh. This is exciting. So Multicade Matt just, I just read a comment from him that it looks like Glenn has figured out a way to play this on the first gen I arcade. These are gonna be hot. If you're if if you if you have an I arcade, put an order in now. I mean I just just take it from me. These things are gonna start being hard to come by. Some nice uh, protective here. Look at this send in. I have <laughs> this is great. I've never I've never held one before. This is awesome. It's got some good weight to it. I'll have to figure this out, but I did have the recoil on here. Maybe you have to plug it in for it to make that that noise. But but yeah, we got went with the black. And it's kind of like a T2 thing. Because the Terminator 2 is the red and blue guns, which I haven't painted yet. The blue did look cool on this, but I wanted the black. And it does have that, that USB port. We just have to plug this in, do an update on here, and we... Should be good to go. It does say, try to get this on camera here, the Sindin technology. Sindin, I can't even read. Sindin light gun. So it does, it does say the Sindin light gun here on the side. Both sides do have that pretty nice looking gun. Next is our weekly trip to Best Buy. Talking arcade one up. Before we run inside and talk arcade one up, we're in the parking lot, the rain is coming down. I just wanna go over our weekly topic of at games on arcade net. There are five new games as of April 28th. We have Bridge, Chain Reaction, Carnival's Revenge, Night Star, Nitro Ball, Gun Ball. So it's good to see that Another way to play some games here on at games and just looking at their schedule down the road here I did see Night Stalkers. It's one of my favorite games for the iArcade Gives people a chance to play this if they don't have an iArcade if you have an at games Awesome game lineups Very cool to see all three companies giving us something different They did sell a couple of the deluxe since the last time we were here. There were two Pac-Man, I believe one Class of 81 and one Mortal Kombat. So all that remains is one Pac-Man Deluxe. We still have The Simpsons at $6.99. I don't see that moving at all. They did throw this random box over here. But again, we're here for Fast and Furious. We are a week, maybe you know, give or take a, a day or two from being here in, in store. And this would probably be the spot where we're going to see some of those boxes. The Pac Mania has went up now to $3.99. I want to say that was $3.19 when we were here last week for an open box store model. I mean, I'm just not seeing this moving, especially for literally $3.99, $100 more, and you're going to get this. You're going to get, which is right on the other side here, you're going to get this cabinet for $4.99. And you know the new form factors versus and I mean it looks it the artwork looks cool and everything but my money would go for the deluxe an arcade one up site here it is updated that Fast and Furious is coming up immediately as you open the open up the site and the pre-order which is gonna lead you to Best Buy which is where we 
are talking arcade one up where else would we would we talk about the home arcade then at the official retailer of the deluxe lineup and it, i mean it's good to see this is on here unfortunately the only fast and furious i'm coming across as of the 30th of april is this toy <laughs> fast and furious but hopefully the next time we're here next week we might see something and if we just scroll down here Best Buy is just all over Arcade One of Sight and we're seeing Fast and Furious lined up next to Class 81, next to MK, next to Pac-Man. So, and then if we keep going, it's just a continuation of other cabinets. But these are the Deluxe and it's good to see that this is coming up. I mean, it's any day, any day now, we're gonna get our hands on this. Which brings us to the discussion what we found out about Fast and Furious this week. On the episode of Game Time, which aired last Thursday, two games on Fast and Furious here. Turns out that it's actually Fast and Furious Drift, which I believe was from 2007, is basically the two games, even though we see the art here, for Fast and Furious 1, the, the, the first Fast and Furious arcade. It's sounding like the cars being used, the actual driving, the effects, is really drift. It just looks like you're playing the original Fast and Furious on that game, which a lot of people might be backing out of their pre-orders, waiting for this price to drop now, or not interested at all. And I did think to myself, am I going to go through with this? Am I going to go through with the pre-order? Or if I see it in store here? If I see it in Best Buy, am I going to pick that up? You know, we see the arcade went up right down there. Am I interested in this cabinet still? And I was talking to my good friend, who I know pre-ordered this also, and there's some disappointment on both ends, but we're interested in how this is going to be. I'm, I'm going through with it. I'm committed to this cabinet. I'm committed to either having it shipped to me or finding it in store. And along with my good friend, he is also committed. So look for the reviews if you're undecided on Fast and Furious. As we still see, Lionel is here still and he is $49.99. They still have two of the Leonardos. The one behind here is the Casey Jones and looks like about six of the Dragon Zords. The two Transformers for 85, no um, surprise there. These are still here, that's a lot of money for these figures. I don't know, I guess they would have to find the right buyer to be interested in picking up either one of these. I do like the grids on here, it's like total 80s. And you just see the, the different logos here for the Transformers. Pretty cool to see out of all these toys here. I just threw this one up here because, I mean, we're talking Fast and Furious. Lionel is truly, I mean, look at that Thundercats art. This is the one I want. It's 50 bucks. We're nearing the end of the billing cycle. And this is when I kind of get a little cheap on stuff, but I would love to pick this up. Still waiting for my best boy, re best buy reward points. Once I get those, I want to put it towards Lionel, providing he's still here. Looking down from where we just were, there's the Fast and Furious. I don't know if I noticed these last time. We have a Joker multiverse here. Let's get the back of this out. Slade Wilson Deathstroke, who I just tipped over here. I've seen him. I want to say this was at the other... Maybe it was here. Maybe it was at the other Best Buy. We go to once in a while. This is pretty much my go-to Best Buy. Looks like Damian Wayne. And Earth 2 Batman. Let's check the back side of him out. Is that Thomas Wayne? Is Earth 2 Batman Thomas Wayne? Or am I thinking Flashpoint? Also, there's a Jay Garrett. While we're talking Flashpoint. Be colorful. Best Buy also with the store floor model of PlayStation 5. 
and one over here too not sure if they have any in stock here they do have some switch over here going around to the other side here not seeing anything else some something might be locked up in that cage right here but other than the back side where we just were here is what's left and I and I forgot I didn't even notice this until after the fact but last week's video shack jam is gone it dawned on me a couple of days ago like holy cow shack jam's gone somebody somebody bought it for is it Blitz 599? Blitz is 599. I want Shack Jam was 699. So somebody actually came in here, paid 699 for Shack Jam. Unbelievable. Marquee still doesn't work for Mortal Kombat 2, so there's obviously something. I would love to just pull this back. The cardboard or that 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 wood piece is on the back. I would have just pulled this back just to see if they didn't plug that in. But it's there. The Pac-Man and the kiosk is working. Any sales while we're standing here? I did see on their site today. So four ninety nine for that was that an eighteen inch screen? Four ninety nine. There's actually an open box online for three ninety nine. That's not a bad deal for three ninety nine. I could see like if you were like Dustin, like you want to pick this up to play some board games. I think three ninety nine's a safe price. So that, did somebody just buy that to do a review and then return it? For that for that fact like that's a pretty quick return for something that literally just came out it's like Terminator 2 is 315 it, it's higher online so something that I'm learning about Best Buy if we come into the store and we see this marked down to this price they have to like give us that price like they have to sell it blitz is 599 in Best Buy and at arcade one up direct shipping is free Actually, I want to say it's $4.99 at Arcade One Up. I saw $100 off. I don't remember. So it is $4.99. So it is marked down. Before I head out of here, I just noticed this. This is what they were complaining about. Now watch this. So you're tightening these out and it's bowing. My class of 81 isn't doing this. So why is it doing this on Pac-Man? This is what people were complaining about. You can see that gap right there. You can see this. It's raising up. This would drive you nuts. I wonder why this is doing this. Is it tighter? Is this pushing this in, causing this to, to bow out like that? You know, I have not noticed that. that I don't think it was like this when I was here last week. Something's, something is causing this to shift. Now, I'm gonna really, really be watching my class of 81 to see if it, if it does this, but the complaint has been on the Pac-Man. Stopping off at Burger King. I do have these coupons here, so I'm gonna take full advantage of this. As I stated before, we're nearing the end of the billing cycle, so I gotta kinda go a little cheap here eating out. Haven't had a Whopper for what, forever. Um, trying to see here what to get. Get the two Whopper Junior. There's no drink, I kinda want a soda. $12.99, I think I'm gonna get this. We'll go Dr. Pepper, just regular. Okay, utilizing some coupons here, we did get two offers. Here's one, two, two offers. Like I said, it's been forever since I've had any. They get two orders of fries. I don't know if I'll finish all of them. Taking the pickles off as usual. Just going with the onions, the tomatoes, the lettuce, and the mayo. I like the ketchup packet. Sometimes it's soupy at Burger King, if you've ever experienced that before, but it's like you gotta have thick ketchup. And Heinz is it's my favorite, favorite ketchup. Every restaurant should have Heinz. It's good, I mean, you can just like lob so much ketchup on it. Nope. 
There's a new chain of a fair to the right of me. And I'll get a, I'll get a shot when we leave. Just one other family right over here. Otherwise, the lobby's empty. The chairs, these are all the booths on this side. The chairs are on that end of the building are all up, so they don't want you sitting there. Hmm. I can't tell you how long it's been since I had a Whopper. I don't know how I remember this stuff, but if you watch Iron Man 1 with Robert Downey Jr., I think 2008 is when Iron Man 1 came out. <clears throat> Jeff Bridges. He went to Burger King. When he got, when he freed himself with the Mark, was that Mark 1? He flew out of uh, like Afghanistan. Should I want three or four American hamburgers, right? So they went to Burger King and he ate all of them. It's just like. That's where it comes from, you know? You see people just like pegging on them burgers and you think you can do it. I'll never forget that that scene. I'm gonna say Whopper. He said, I want, I want four American burgers. Iron hey, Man, it was a great movie. You know, I mean, just didn't expect it. The casting was phenomenal. Go over with Robert Downey Jr. We have our Whopper number two. Just have to take the uh, pickles off. And I gotta say that the pickles aren't as bad. They're, I mean, they're not, should I eat it? No. They're, not, they're not as bad, per se, as what I remember from a teenager, working at Hardee's, or at McDonald's, I don't know. For those who like the pickles, I apologize, but just don't want them on this burger. But what to have? But they cross out like they don't don't leave onions, you know, extra this. It's always great to see this is still on their packaging at Burger King. It's a great burger. I was gonna go to Burger King before we hit Best Buy. But I just wanted to get that out of the way. Stop in there. Had to run to the pet store to get Lucky some food. And I just said, you know, there's a Burger King on the other end of town. Not as many of these as like McDonald's. There's a couple scattered in different areas, but I was starving. Forget this China buffet over here. There's some people walking out, going in their cars. Whenever I sit in a restaurant, there's another uh, burger custard place. Mm, about a half a mile down the road, there's a Taco Bell right next to it. And he's, uh, I mean, I like to eat inside of these places. First, is going through drive-thru, going home, and I always like looked at Taco Bell. Going, I get, I'm so satisfied with like this meal. Like, are they as satisfied as I was here? Like, I, I always think like the real decision, the best decision, was to come. So this location, and I'm thinking the same with this China buffet. Like, man, this Burger King, I'm telling you, this is, this is a great burger. I need to get it with cheese. I know they charge extra, I just want to what was on the, the, the coupon. But, I mean, I don't even need the cheese on this, it's just so, it's just, just such a different burger. I'm getting really full. This uh, this girl just had shorts on. It's like freezing outside. It's like I don't know, 42 degrees, but it's damp. It's the, the the rains all day. It just in like intensifies. It makes it even feel colder. all the burgers off. I'm not going to be able to finish the fries, but the burgers are history. They're no more. 
what we got left on the fries. I didn't think I was going to finish it all, but I just, I don't know, two burgers for with a soda, fries, for just over 13 with the tax. You know, it's, you know, I'm just, it's typical to just spend $14, $15 now when you, when you go somewhere to eat. Last of the fries, full. And the ketchup. That's gonna do it for today. It's a great way to end the video. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you on the next one.